I was a band geek through and through. I never really learned to read bass guitar music too well, but I did play bass guitar. We ended up playing at a school talent assembly. We were just this loud punk rock band. And even though most people didn't like us, the energy was so much that I remember I took my bass off and I just threw it up in the air. And then I got out of the gym and I got freaked out because I was like, oh my goodness, did I break my bass? But that was the moment where I was like, I need to make sure I'm in front of people and performing because I just love that feeling. I'm Daryl Ducharme, and this is my journey to becoming a Google Developer Advocate. During college, I studied audio production. After school, I went to work for a guitar shop that kind of did all the different things that you might want as a musician. And I actually worked for Guitar Center for almost five years at various stores. And it's because of Guitar Center that I met some people who introduced me to wrestling and made me a wrestling fan. My operations manager, his brother-in-law, was actually an independent professional wrestler. And he took me to see a show. And I was just blown away. There was pyrotechnics and loud music and the things that they would do in the ring were just amazing to me. I was like, where have you been all my life? And I got to talking with one of the wrestlers. And since I was a store manager, I had a nice clean cut. And he said to me, you look like you would make a great referee. I thought about it a long time and I kept going back to it. And my now wife, she said, it sounds like you want to be a wrestler. As soon as she said that, I was like, yes, this is what we're doing. And I went forward, I found a gym, learned about getting in shape, and then went to the school, and I became a professional wrestler. My wrestling name was Deacon. He was a televangelist, because I wanted him to be a bad guy, and it seems like televangelists are always telling you you're a terrible person and asking for your money. Two things that people hate. So I built a website for my wrestling gimmick so my fans could know where I was going to be. I did learn a lot about programming in Flash and I started to put that stuff on my website. And so I was like, if I'm gonna be on the road, I need something I can do on the road. Well, I'll build websites with these skills that I have. And one of my training clients ran a business that did interactive website design. And so I asked him to be my mentor. And he was like, sure, I'll, I'll mentor you. And he helped me get a couple clients. And then when I decided to retire from wrestling, he's like, why don't you come work for me? And that was really my entry into being a professional developer. Becoming a Google developer advocate was really intentional. Because when I learned about the concept of a developer advocate sort of role, it seemed like the perfect mix of my love of performance and my love of tech. The skills that I learned as a wrestler that have helped me be a better developer advocate are the skills of dealing with an audience and connecting with an audience because I feel that that's a skill that a lot of people don't have. One of the things about a non-traditional background is you bring a point of view that's very much needed in lots of, lots of projects out there.